Welcome back to another crypto video. Hello, ladies and gents. Hope you're doing awesome. Big hello here from United Kingdom. I'm your host today, Jacob Crypto Boeing. We're going to check out Filecoin today. One of our old sort of blue chip projects, really strong um, altcoin that we were looking at a few days ago and a few weeks ago. And during the bull market, this performed absolutely incredibly. And it looks like we're really starting to bottom out. I mean, is there really much more downside potential here um, when we're looking at particular charts? Well, let's have a little look. Let's have a look at some bullish news as well. And yeah, let's crack on. If you're new here, smash the subscribe. That'd be really, really much appreciated. And let's have a little look at Filecoin. So we can see right now in the crypto, you know, market, we have a lot of fear. Once again, last month was 11 on the fear and greed index. This month is 20 so far, and we could still come down lower. I still think Q1 is going to be pretty fearful up until around April time, when maybe we're going to get that sort of bullish reversal and we'll start seeing the market go back into an uptrend. I think everyone was calling for a huge Q1, and because of that call, it just couldn't happen. Because of that call, too many longs in the market, too many people getting way too greedy too soon. So yeah, that's what I kind of think is going to happen. Um, bit of news, Polygon and Filecoin increase collaboration to integrate into Metaverse and NFT spaces. As you can see, um, it's pretty cool. Filecoin and Polygon announced a collaboration to drive growth in the NFT games and the Metaverse space to help developers and NFT projects in the Polygon network or the Filecoin system. Um, so basically there'll be more interoperability, more partnerships, more growth and more users as well. So it's going to help with, you know, the transactions and following a hype is, you know, never a bad sort of marketing strategy, um, to begin with. Another bit of news, Dharma Capital launches Filecoin base CFTC regulated swap. Digital asset manager Dharma Capital announced the launch of Filecoin asset use swap, the first of its kind based on Filecoin. Um, so it looks pretty cool. And you can see here, Dharma noted that thanks to their product, the network can gain greater diversification. According to the estimate, 65% of the storage capacity is provided by participants from China. So this is going to just increase the function of Filecoin. And it's also not nice to see these partnerships as well. So look at that. The term of the contract varies 1.5 to 2.5 years. If to pass with state, you will need to meet KYC AML requirements. So let's hop into the Filecoin analysis. We can see rank 42. Oh no. Climbing the ladder now. We're actually climbing the ladder. Um, that's not bad though. Rank 42, $18.47, 3 billion market cap, 385 million um, trading volume. So that's, you know, about 15% of the total market cap. So it's it's still got a lot of volume. Um, but you can see here on the 30 days, we're down 2.6%. Two weeks, we're down 24%. How much more space is there to go down? Um, so yeah, let's just hop into those charts. And before we do, I just want to say thank you to the patrons. You guys are awesome. If you want to become a patron, price of a coffee in the description below, you'll receive a free ebook, premium Discord access, and also one-on-one -on -one messaging and giveaways and much, much more. So yeah, let's take a little look at this Filecoin, what's going on. So we had such a big bull run with Filecoin, just to give you some retrospect. We demolished the the 4.2 Fibonacci, which was at £76, around $100 absolutely demolished but the worrying thing is that we retraced as well basically all the way back to one i mean that is so bearish it's so strange very very strange and even on this swing low this retracement level when we took the impulse we even corrected below so there wasn't even like a descending wedge or anything well there was until this support was broken at about 40 dollars so yeah we are back into pounds sorry about that everyone but yeah I wanted to look at is this particular level where we said we had the symmetrical triangle would retest that resistance we got rejected didn't we so now we've just tumbled back down back down to this 13 pound level the next level of support is that 1238 using the moving average convergence divergence we have just got that bearish crossover even though this has just happened so there might still be some more downside potential in the market the rsi isn't looking too bad but again, it's, it was all here 
when we broke through the bull market support band and we came back through, came back through and we got rejected. We got rejected in November. A lot of projects got rejected in November on their bull market support band. So it doesn't look amazing. If we go to that four hour time frame, you can see what's going on now. Um, yeah, we had the bearish crossover on the MACD. The RSI is looking okay. I mean, these fearful times are usually areas you want a dollar cost average, but with a market correcting this hard because of external influences such as you know Ukraine, Russia, and other things, it's very hard to actually do this accurately because the next day there could be a whopping 10% drop, 5% once again. So yeah, there, there was a symmetrical triangle we saw. We came up to retest this level, but we didn't. We got rejected. We lost the momentum. And now we're seeing this downtrend again. So really we're just trying to get back through the 20 day moving average. If we can consolidate around this particular area here, it's gonna look much better for Filecoin. If we go into the hourly as well, again, we're just putting through those candles, putting through some higher lows little by little. So it doesn't look that amazing for Filecoin at the moment. What we'd hope can happen, I suppose, is if we do pull the previous swing high around about there we can see what looks quite good is at the point two three six um fibonacci extension level these are the resistance levels it does line up with that key area at 29 pounds which is probably around you know 40 ish dollars so that 40 ish dollars would be a big target for this reversal when Bitcoin consolidates again and actually finally corrects it should pull the altcoins up with it at some point so should we get this reversal um, this would be the key target at 30 pounds and yeah it doesn't seem like a great amount but when you're looking at the percentage is 120 percent gain when we flip bullish again in the market um, and then Filecoin also has these other resistance levels the 17 pound zone 18 pounds the 21 pound zone there's just so many levels of resistance that we've got to get through for me this is a very tricky one i think for the next bull market cycle it makes sense to potentially be accumulating but if your view is to make money this cycle i think the the odds are quite low but what we can anticipate now is now we've had this huge run the the targets for the next cycle are phenomenal and we can see them just here. Let me just move that back there. Because usually we do come up to these key key, key levels. The 3.618, the 2.272, the 4.2 in these bull markets. And that makes me think that we have the potential. This was the whole run. This was all the way April 2021, all of the June, July bearish phase. This was the little November, December 21 euphoria that we had. Now we're back in this distribution of fear. Apologies if you can't see this, but using this FIB extension, my price prediction for Filecoin in the next bull market, should we get this traction again, is probably going to be actually, I'm going to keep it pragmatic for now, but £272, which is right here. And that's about $320. And we could still see these higher price levels. I just think we need to see something more long-term down movement if even if it takes the whole of 2022 that's probably not a bad thing and something just you know speculating something like that needs to happen that just looks much more realistic than just shooting straight up again you have this retest you have the correction the undervaluation reaccumulation then you have the impulse correction impulse to these bigger bigger bull market targets in the next bull cycle to come anyway guys so that's about a wrap really try and keep your head out of crypto right now i know it's horrible to see these prices dropping but you should not let crypto rule your day your life in such ways i've been there before i think we all have been there at some point so yeah just make sure you have a good day regardless subscribe to the channel regardless like the video regardless comment regardless but please do join the discord channel down below it'd be great to see you in there because i'm going to lock it soon and you know also consider becoming a patron if you want so leave suggestions guys i'm happy i'm open to do some videos on some crazy old coins as long as they're not meme coins 
We don't like gambling. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye for now.